Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where I talk about things that happened this week in anime history. Starting with March 18th, 1963, the birth of a little girl named Yoko Kano, oh, who would yeah, go right. on yep. to be a, uh, a rather major force in anime music. Wow. Um, was a prodigy from a very early age, uh, and uh, just really um, made a lot of impressive anime soundtracks. For more on that, check out this channel for a panel on the history of the music of Cowboy Bebop and Yoko Kano's past. Uh, happy birthday, um, this week at least, Yoko Kano. Also this week, March 17th, 1997, Toonami premiered on Cartoon Network. The original Toonami with Moltar, Moltar. as host. That's right. Wow. Back when it was just a, um, a, a block, you know, an action block. And um, I actually have a thing I can pull up here real quick. Because I wanted to, to look up and remember. Because, of course, it's the internet. There's a website um, that talks about um, what, when. Um, so the original Toonami lineup, March 17th, 1997, was Thundercats, Cartoon mm -hmm. Roulette, which is just kind of random cartoons. Okay. Voltron. Yep. Ooh, yep. Cartoon Roulette again, and mm -hmm. The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest. That's what you yep. got. Because um, it was just an action cartoon block, and that was just a bunch of action wow. cartoons. Um, cartoon Roulette would show, um, among other things, um, the actual Harvey Birdman. Like, the, the, the actual Birdman. <laughs> Not Harvey Birdman, <laughs> Attorney at Law. Aww. The original cartoon. The actual one. The, 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 the real Birdman. one. Um, the Galaxy Trio... Um, so I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hanna Barbera cartoon, you know. <laughs> okay. yeah. okay. uh, space Ghost, the original Space Ghost, not Coast to Coast, the actual thing <laughs> yeah. it's based on. Um, and the Fleischer Superman cartoons. Yes. So oh. you tune in and get that. That was that was your cartoon roulette half hour Ooh. action block. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, some hits, we, some misses. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. A lot of Oof. misses. Um, yeah. Uh, and then it, uh, um, it shifted over the course of the next few years. Um, uh, over to in, things that sucked less. Well, <laughs> yeah. January 12th, they swapped out Voltron for Robotech. Um, which, oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Just, oh. What? Mm. Voltron's so good. Oh. Well, yeah. But I love Robotech. Oh. Um, June 1998. <laughs> They switched to um, Sailor Moon, Robotech, Voltron, and Johnny Quest. Mm. And that's when I remember the Toonami block starting to be like, oh, this yeah. anime thing. Oh, you know, hmm. Mm, mm. um, and then you got, um, uh, yeah, then uh, August 1998, it was Sailor Moon, Thundercats, DBZ, Johnny Quest. Okay. And then you started shifting into all of these, uh, these, the, the. the now this is not ones. classic Johnny Quest. This is new Johnny this, Quest. This is, this is the, well, let me just double new, check. This is the yeah. This is the new Johnny Quest. Was it any good? I I don't think I ever saw it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, I liked the classic look of classic Johnny Quest. Okay. I I enjoyed the way the animation was done. Okay. I enjoyed the backgrounds. I it's enjoyed not like that at all. stylistically. Okay. <laughs> Um, is it but more it, cartoony, like squash and stretch kind of thing? Or? No, no, no. It, it is a. Um, it is more like an eighties, nineties, Ben Ten, you know, kind okay. of uh, kind of approach. Um, okay, that that tells me. Okay. You know, um, it's got a it's got a it had a decent budget. Unfortunately, it did a lot of like CGI, you know, stuff in there which didn't mesh right. very well. Um, but what I saw was, you know, well-structured, well-put-together, but still just, you know, it's Johnny Quest, right? It, it's it's action-adventure kind of stuff. Right. But, I mean, I enjoyed that about the original Johnny Quest in addition yep. to just the visual element to it. Mm -hmm. but, yep. You know. Wow, I had forgotten about this. So, um, this lineup going to need to shift over the course of time. Um, March 15th, they added Reboot to the lineup. And then on May 23rd, 1999... 
um, they, uh, they did their lunar eclipse event where they showed Sailor Moon for eight and a half hours. Wow. <laughs> You can 11, never get enough. From 11.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., just Sailor Moon. Wow. All the time. <laughs> then on May 24th, they showed uh, two hours of Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Um, for all week. So it was just four episodes of Dragon Ball Z every every day for a week. Um, and then, um, yeah, started shifting it around and, and doing more stuff. Um, Interesting. Wow. They were really changing things up. Um. And did the two, then, oh yeah, April 8th through 9th, did a 24 hour uh, Toonami lineup. So Toonami took over for a day on Cartoon Network on April 8th, 2000, year 2000. So viewership had built to a point. Mm hmm. Yep. Interesting. To give you an idea, though, it started at 6 a.m. with five episodes of The Super Friends. Oh. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's super fun. Uh, that's, that's not that's not starting real great, but no. okay. Uh, um, two episodes of Thundercats, mm. one episode of Dragon Ball Z, two episodes of Gundam Wing, and I'm sorry, inserting two episodes of Gundam Wing in the middle of that block. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's interesting choices. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ronin Warriors, um, mm -hmm. three Gundam Cats. Uh, th I'm sorry, three Thundercats. Gundam, Gundam Cats. Cats. Um, wow, what a crossover. Exactly. Um, the Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero movie. Oh. Two episodes of Sailor Moon. Interesting. Powerpuff Girls. Dragon Ball Z movie. Dragon Ball Z episode. Two more episodes of Gundam Wing. Ronan Warriors again. Dragon Ball Z movie. Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Dang. Um... <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, World's Strongest, Powerpuff Girls, DBZ, Gundam Wing, Runner Warriors, and Super Friends, and Thundercats, and now we're back to like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6, 6 a.m. That was their lineup. Fast. Wow, somebody in the licensing department just had a heck of a day. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it. Put it on the schedule. Okay. Yes, put it on the schedule. <laughs> yep. Holy crap. Absolutely. Um... And Gundam Cats. Gundam, yes. Gundam, 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 Gundam. Gundam. Oh! <laughs> um, Somebody needs to do like, like oh. action figure mashups of like Thundercats figurines with like Gundam gunpla armor oh. or something. I'm, this, I'm all there this, for it. This sounds like a robot chicken moment. It sure does. <laughs> it does. It does. Well, it's got contacts does. in the industry. Somebody yep. call Seth Green, mm -hmm. Matt Senreich. Get him, get him working right now. Wow. Gundam Cats. Oh, the, the, the mind boggles. It'll um, be a disturbing thought for a while. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm going to be thinking about that one for a little bit. 